helpful for people to hear that they should make themselves competent and dangerous and take their proper place in the world. Competent and dangerous? Mm. Why dangerous? Because it's the alternative to being weak. And weak is not good. By dangerous, that implies I should be ready to threaten someone, to hurt somebody. No, you should be capable of it. But that doesn't mean you should use it. Those who have swords and know how to use them but keep them sheathed will inherit the world. That's a way better way of thinking about it. There's nothing to you otherwise. Like if you're not a formidable force, there's, not, there's no morality in your self-control. If you're incapable of violence, not being violent isn't a virtue. Capacity for danger and the capacity for control is what brings about the virtue. Otherwise, you confuse weakness with, with moral virtue. I'm harmless, therefore I'm good. It's like, no, that isn't how it works. That isn't how it works at all. If you're harmless, you're just weak. And if you're weak, you're not going to be good. You can't be because it takes strength to be good. It's very difficult to be good. Good morning, everybody. JT here, Serenity Farms prepping. So, are you competent and dangerous? Or are you a virtue signaling good person who wouldn't hurt a fly. I like Jordan Peterson. I don't agree with everything he says, but a lot of what he says makes me think. And nothing wrong with thinking. I get a lot done. I'm sorry, I'm doing lawn care while I'm doing this. Thinking is good. Overthinking sometimes, <laughs> not so good. But times are right around the corner where virtue signaling people who think they're good, I think they're going to pay a very heavy price. While those of us who are competent and can be dangerous, like he said, just because we know we're capable of doing what needs to be done doesn't mean you have to use it. In my career in law enforcement and anybody that was in any type of law enforcement can very likely verify this that you clearly can see and understand throughout the course of your day who can be dangerous based on competence or fear, especially in the prisons that I used to have to go in. When people react with violence out of fear, it usually doesn't end well for them and others because when you react out of fear and when I say fear I don't mean the fear that all of us have okay a little bit of common sense fear goes a long way that doesn't mean we're too afraid to act or so afraid we overreact. But people who consider themselves good and nonviolent, when they finally do something, they go way above and beyond what is usually necessary because they're reacting out of shit your pants fear, not 
I have a healthy fear of the situation and I know caution and thinking needs to be done here kind of fear okay so people who are deathly afraid and consider themselves the virtue signaling good people aka libtards and let's be honest most of their paid people like the blms and the antifas they're not competent and dangerous they are people who have been told to just go be dangerous and they're acting out of the knowledge that there will be no repercussions for their violence. Okay, those of us who feel competent, we don't go around threatening people because we don't have to, we don't need to, we don't want to. We know within ourselves that if the situation gets to a point where something has to be done, that we will do what we believe needs to be done. That doesn't always mean that it's going to work out the way that we want it to. It just means we are capable of taking care of business and those times are very very close okay so oh i've been getting ready for a show what do you think i'm trying to get there not bad for 62 little self uh, <laughs> grandizing there i usually don't do it but i'm mowing the lawn and everything so let me know what you think. The violence is coming. Get prepared, please. But for now, JT, signing out.